we're trying to get these guys ready to go out in that big bad world and be as independent as possible when they're out there. The sixth form is a transition place from school to college. It's for them to learn, they've got a good three years usually, to learn how to go from having everything done for them, telling them what to do, structured, to something far less structured where they're going to make decisions for themselves, be more independent. We obviously do all the core subjects. That instead of being structured just as an English lesson, it's across the whole curriculum. So we're looking for functional skills. That's the skills that they've learned in school. Can they take those skills and use them in real life? When they first come into the sixth form, they get a chance to visit lots of the provisions that are available. Whether we think they're suitable for them or not, everybody goes along to see what it's like. They get a chance to comment on that. And then from there, we'll start selecting the visits to those that we think may be appropriate for them or those that they've shown interest in or their parents, of course. When the students leave, we do keep in touch with quite a number of them. Hello, I'm Amy I live in Douglas Cotton here for almost a year and I really enjoy it. I was 18 when I moved out and now that I've become more, I become more independent. I feel really small when I first started at the field. I was really quiet to start with. As the years went on, I started really coming out my chair. If I want to do something, I will do it. It hasn't stopped me. Like coming skiing. They got me out my chair when I was a set of six skis. I was the only person who done the ten k, so I did the ten k and got a medal for it. Everybody support me in school, and yeah, everybody here support me as well. So I will be here now if you want to for them. Because it doesn't end here, we're just part of the big wheel. We go from school, turning over into college, and watching them grow from there. And it's nice for the students now to see their peers who have gone on to do college and they're doing really well and when they go and visit they see these people that they were with perhaps last year and they're at college and they've got new friends and it's all, you just keep it really, really positive. I mean, it, college isn't for everybody but wherever their stream lies we try and give them as many independent skills as possible. Out in the real world, we want them to have lots and lots of experiences. They do work experience at various places. They go to our charity shop, Woodfield's Den. A whole range of skills, far too many for me to list. There may be a job there for them. So especially for pupils who don't get on very well working in with a lot of people, they also do work experience at the youth hostel. Been kindly allowed to work there on a, a, a one day, one morning a week basis. There's two students at a time. The uh, students will, are learning how to uh, change beds and do the hoovering and clean, general cleaning. They'll be moving on, I think, later on to doing some of the more in-depth cleaning, you know, and to learn about different to hazardous products and so on and so forth. And again, that's all down to for work experience type thing, you know, get them used to the outside world. And that again gives them the go out into the community and do something in a setting that they're not used to, which is what's so special about our sixth form, because we can give them those opportunities. And further down in the school, it's all very, very organised for them, whereas we, as much as possible, let them organise themselves. Those of independent skills are so important. And it's lovely to see them when they start in September and how they then change over the months. It, it's brilliant. It's really tricky. We can't possibly accommodate everybody all at once. So we structure the timetable to make sure that everybody gets time for their individual needs. For our students that are visually impaired and cannot read, we use tactile objects so they know what they're doing next. So we have a timetable in the morning with a tactile reference, like a ball for the ball pull or a towel for swimming. So when they feel this, they know that they're going swimming. Well, basically, every Tuesday, me and Zoe go swimming at the hydro pool. We need these like orange life jackets to help us swim there. It can be freezing because I'm always stuck in one position every day. So 
Some people goes in here, here. Little people and big people. Different people goes in here, here. Different classes. Primary and secondary. There's a hot water bed. So, yeah, again, the students that are in chairs can have a stretcher on there and feel the warmth in their muscles. Yeah. And if your vision's not very good, there's lots of lights to look at as well, isn't there? Yeah, there's lots of lights to look at. We try and make things from nothing. We get all of our fabrics given to us, some of its old clothes at the den, and then we remake them into things that people will want to buy, and we always sell out. They really love making things. And last year we made about £250 on Craft Enterprise, which is terrific, with no or very little outlay. The students are now in their second year of this, so some of them have got very, very good at it and have now actually create their own items from scratch by themselves. The thing is, if you can make a lesson fun, the students are more liable to remember it. If you think back to when you were at school, it's the teachers you liked because they made it interesting and fun. You learn in those lessons better than you did the ones you, when you walk in and think, oh no. And it really does, it really does work. It was sometimes a little bit difficult, but you just have to coach them into it and you know, show them it's all going to be positive and then moving on for a good reason rather than a negative reason. But a lot of these guys, with the right help and support, they can do amazing things. A group I had before, one of them was now at university. When I was on mainstream school, I hated it. Every day I was on, um, I kept screaming so I didn't want to go. I hated it there. And then my mum was casting me on her own. And now I came here and I live here. But I mean, there are days you go home and you just feel completely wiped. And it's not the physical side sometimes, it's the mental side. It's hard work. Everything would be fine. It's okay to be a little bit nervous. If, if I can do it, anybody can.